Hey folks, Eric Stackelbeck here. Welcome to an abbreviated edition, I guess you would say, of the Watchman Newscast. As you can see, we are not on our usual set. We're getting some work done there. We'll be back there for the Thursday Newscast. So today we're coming to you kind of down and dirty just from my phone because I did not want to miss a Watchman Newscast. We come to you every Tuesday and Thursday right here on YouTube with the Newscast. And hey, Folks, we are living in perilous times, especially if you are here in the United States right now. Uh, we're going through a global pandemic, obviously, but we have racial unrest. We have violent riots. We have wars and rumors of wars. It seems that the world is falling apart. But guess what? God Almighty still sits on the throne and he is in control. Even better, his word says that he will never leave you or forsake you. I think that's the message we need right now, folks. With everything collapsing around us, seemingly, a message of encouragement, and where I get encouragement, is from the Word of God, and especially when I am walking in the very place where the Word of God unfolded the land of Israel. So I could say a lot about what's going on in the world right now. I usually do, as you know, here on the newscast, but today, encouragement. We've had a week, if you're in the United States especially, again, we've had a week of very bad news around the world. We've had several months of bad news with COVID-19 shut down. Now in America, we have serious civil unrest in the streets. So I think a message of encouragement is in order. So we're going to head to Jerusalem, my favorite place in the world, for a clip from the Watchman TV show. If you love the newscast, you'll love our television show. You can catch every Friday night on TBN, Sundays on the Fox Business Network. We got together with an organization called the Temple Mount Sifting Project. Now, what they do is they take dirt, sacred dirt, I guess you would say, from the Temple Mount, the holiest place on earth, where God's divine presence once dwelt in the temple. They take dirt, from the Temple Mount that was discarded. You'll hear more about that in a minute. What a story. And they literally sift through that dirt, wet sifting by hand, and man, oh man, the finds that are coming out of that dirt, of that debris from the Temple Mount are absolutely incredible, and they prove, once again, the truth of the Bible. A lot of people say, hey, I don't need uh, piles of rubble or ancient artifacts to tell me God exists. I know he exists. So do I. But for some, they need to be intellectually convinced before it moves into their heart. Everyone comes to the Lord in a different way, right? So what we have here with these amazing archaeological finds, which are increasing in their frequency, folks. We said it last week here on the newscast. It seems that every other day, every other week, there's an amazing new archaeological find in Israel proving the truth of the Bible, and when you combine, I've said it before, I'll say it again, when you combine the truth of the Bible with irrefutable scientific archaeological evidence, you have an unbeatable combination. Yes, I believe, it's in my heart, but it never hurts. We talk about apologetics, right? It never hurts to have that additional ammunition. Yes, the Bible says this. Yes, I know it in my heart because I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, but hey, here's more proof. This was in the Bible, and here it is before your very eyes. This is where it all went down. So it's pretty amazing what the team at the Temple Mount Sifting Project is doing, bringing over 3,000 years of history and beyond to life on the Temple Mount. Take a look. Well, Yitzhak, this is exciting. We are here at the relaunch of the Temple Mount Sifting Project. Tell us what you're doing here right now, why this is so important. We are trying to retrieve, save, research, and publish uh, artifacts, archaeological finds that were hidden within the Temple Mount soil. And the Temple Mount has never been excavated before. This is the first ever archaeological finds that come from within the Temple Mount. For us, to, uh, to prove that the Temple Mount, that the, what the Arabs call Haram al-Sharif, yeah. was the site of the, of, the, of the Jewish temple. For us, it's like to prove that water are wet, is wet. Yeah, but, but, it's common but, sense, but, right? It's common sense. It's, 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 we have numerous historical sources, yeah. uh, uh, Jewish, Christian, and Muslims, yeah. 
uh, from those that lived in Jerusalem, those yeah. outside Jerusalem. By the way, folks, you probably see people behind us working of all ages. It's exciting. They're sifting through this ancient dirt from the Temple Mount, the holiest place on earth. Uh, and who knows what they'll find. You'll see shortly. Yitzhak's going to share some of those amazing finds with us. But look, the reason you're doing this, Yitzhak, why it's necessary, give us that quick background. What happened on the Temple Mount around 1999, I guess, about 20 years yeah. ago. Uh, right. Not good. Tell us yeah. about it. So, uh, the Muslim authorities uh, excavated a, a huge pit in order to make an, a new entrance. Uh, actually, they converted an ancient structure called Solomon's Stables. It's a substructure uh, that was founded during the early Islamic period. On, on the, the Temple Mount. On the Temple Mount, in the southeastern corner of the Temple Mount, uh, on remains of the Second Temple period. In that location, a huge underground vaulted structure was built later on. And, uh, and the Crusaders were the last to use it as stables for the horses. And it was out of use during 1,000 years, and then they converted that to a, a, a mosque. They changed the status quo on the Temple Mount. So 400 truckloads of dirt were removed from sacred ground, the, the Temple Mount, yeah. uh, where 3,000 years ago Solomon's Temple stood. Yeah. Who knows what's under that dirt? The Muslim yeah. authorities took them from the Temple Mount and just dumped them in the Kidron Valley and, and elsewhere here in Jerusalem. Unbelievable. Yitzhak, I think people at home will be shocked to learn how, how they did this, why they were allowed to do it. I was That's, shocked. Many people were shocked. Yeah. But uh, I was very interested uh, because I was an archaeological student, third year, and uh, I went with uh, another friend and we started uh, surveying it. Gabriel Barkay, one of my uh, lecturers in those, those days, a senior archaeologist in Israel, very famous archaeologist, uh, he joined forces with me and together it took us about three years until we got the permit to do this. Yeah. There were many obstacles and in yeah. 2004, we began the sifting project. So from this dirt, that, this holy dirt that you retrieved from the Temple Mount, you guys are literally sifting through it meticulously here at these sifting stations. And you have found a half a million archeological discoveries in this dirt from the first temple period, second temple period and beyond, right? Yeah. Coins, we have about 7,000 coins. We have about 100 seals, seal impressions. Uh, we have thousands of jewelry pieces. Gradually, this information will be absorbed by scholars, by uh, tourist guides, by, by uh, school books, history books, uh, 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 documentaries, and, and, and uh, this, is, this will be our, co our common knowledge. Folks, I hope that that encouraged you. Again, that clip was from our 30-minute weekly Watchmen television show. If you love the newscast here on YouTube, you will love our TV show, which you can catch every Friday on TBN, every Sunday on the Fox Business Network. And be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and click that notification button so you get alerts every time a new video is posted, either a newscast or from the Watchmen TV show. We are bringing some great on-the-ground stuff for you from the land of Israel and beyond for such a time as this. Yes, we live in perilous times, but we also live in Bible times. And guess what? That means that this is a very exciting time to be alive if you are a follower of Jesus. So until next time, until Thursday, hopefully from our usual Watchman newscast set, hang in there. God bless you. I'm praying Psalm 91 over everyone out there. And remember, never. Hold your peace.